All right, Shalom. Let me start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstones, of Great Millstone. Those are the true leaders of Israel today. All right, uh, and uh, Yahweh, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world calls God, Yahweh Shai. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who this world calls Jesus Christ. Uh, Bahasham is in the name, the Raka Kodash, that's the Holy Spirit. All right, you know, I also want to say Shalom to 144,000 men that is laboring in his truth for the sake of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the one third men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. All right, uh, you know, I want to touch on the topic, you know, the kingdom of heaven. All right, you know, the kingdom of heaven. Uh, it's going to be built upon precious stone, all right, gold, all right, the finer things, okay? All right, you know, I really want to really touch on precious stones, all right? All right, because, uh, you know, you got Jake in the world today, you know, don't, don't know nothing about the, uh, think they know about the Bible, you know, but, and over here calling, you know, uh, like stones, wicked, you know, like the uh, amethyst stone. All right, the pyrite stone, all right, the emerald. You know, they they go, they say all these stones are uh, are wicked. You know, because of what Esau has is putting out. You know, the vibrations of Esau. All right, you know, you got witches out here. All right, witches. You know that are into, that are into the stones. Uh, a lot of Edomites are into the stones. All right, you know, but that doesn't take away for what the stones really are really were made for, man. All right, you know, the Lord refers to us as precious stones, man. All right, you know. So let me uh prove through this through the uh, through the scriptures through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, that precious uh these precious stones, man. These this is part of our heritage, man. This is us, man. All right, you know. Let me start out in the book of Tobit. Actually, I'll start out in the book of Revelations. Revelations chapter twenty one. In verse 9. Oh, Slack, yeah. Or the Revelations 22. No. Con, Slack, yeah. Revelations chapter Let me start at uh, verse 10. Revelation chapter 21 and 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from the most high, having the glory of the most high. And her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, as clear as crystal. All right. You know, that's, see, that's the Lord referring to us. You know, as that as that precious stone, man. All right, it says here a jasper stone, clear as crystal. All right, and um, so let me just. I always wanted to read that, but let me jump down. Uh, let me jump down to verse seventeen, and he measured the wall thereof a hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man. That is the that is of the angel, and the building of the wall. Of it was like of jasper. All right, see, jasper is a stone. All right, it says the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And found it, and the foundations of the wall of the city was garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, so so sapphire, or, or sapphire, salakia, sapphire. The third, a Cal Chalcedony. The fourth, an emerald. All right, these are all precious stones, man. All right, you know it says. Uh, it says that was how the that was how the walls was, man. The city was pure gold. The city was pure gold, like unto clear glass, and the foundations of the wall was garnished with all manner of precious stones, man. All right, so how is it? So precious stones is wicked, you know. Yet 
Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to build up the kingdom of heaven. All right, the 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 wall is going to be made out of you know something that's wicked in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, that makes no sense at all, man. See, people don't know the scriptures. All right, and uh. Khan, you know, that's pretty much the point. In verse 20, you know, it says the fifth is a sardon on or a sardo sardo sardonyx, it's like if I said it wrong, the six, a sardius, a sardius, the seven, Christolite, Christolite, the eighth, Burl, the ninth, Tophaz, the tenth, Chris, Crystal, Crystal. Phrasis, Chriso, Phrasis, Salakia. Uh, it says the eleventh, a a a jacinth, the twelfth, an amethyst. All right. See, these are all precious stones, man. All right. And it says verse twenty-one, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls, and every gate was of one pearl. In the city, and in the street of the city was pure gold, as it was transparent glass man all right pure gold streets man all right see this is this is what we're looking forward to in the kingdom of heaven man all right you know and we say in these words you know but really we came but uh we came to uh put into our words you know how great the kingdom of heaven is going to be how glorious all right and how marvelous man how peaceful you know how, how exciting man the kingdom of heaven is going to be all right Eyes have not seen, you know, ears that eyes have not seen, man. All right. You know what 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 Yahweh Shimia Osha has for us, man. All right. Um you know, so that's that was a that's that's a cut right there, man. All right, you know, you got uh Aaron with the priest garment as well. Let me just get that. <coughs> uh because you can read really read the whole Exodus twenty eighth chapter. All right, let me just touch this uh these scriptures right here though all right uh this is exodus chapter 28 and i'll just hit it right at the point uh verse two let me start at two two and three it says and thou shalt make holy garments for aaron thy brother for glory and for and for beauty all right these are holy garments man all right and so holy means separate man all right and thou shalt speak unto all that are wise-hearted whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they may make Aaron's garments to cons to consecrate him. <coughs> that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. Alright, so Aaron is ministering unto Yahweh by Shem Shai in his in his holy garment, and you have to pray for wisdom to make this holy garment, and it's gonna be decked out all right, with uh with precious stones, man. All right, we're going to read it here in verse four. All right, it says, "And these are the garments which they make, which they shall make: a breastplate, a breastplate, and an ophod, and a robe, and a broided coat, a mitri, and a girdle. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother and his sons, and that he may minister unto unto me in the priest's office." All right, and then we go into that word ophod. Uh, it's lucky if I'm saying it wrong. It says, "A breastplate and a ophod." All right, that goes into, you know, a, a, a garment, a, a priestly garment, you know, and it has gems and gold. All right, you know, we go into blue letter, man, and we all know what gems are. All right, gems are these precious stones and gold. All right, fine linen, man. All right, you, you can read the rest of that chapter and you'll see that, man. All right, you know. And uh, so let me get, let me go ahead and get Tobit as well. All right. <clears throat> Tobit chapter 13 and verse 16. All right, this is Tobit chapter 13. Let me start at verse 15. It says, Let my soul bless the Most High, the great King, for Jerusalem shall be built up with, with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones. All right, Jerusalem, man, the kingdom of heaven, man. Jerusalem means city of peace, man. All right. And emeralds and precious stones, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. All the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with burrow and, and, carb and carbuncle and stones of Ophir. 
Hey, man, people do not know the scriptures, man. And all her streets shall say, shall say, hallelujah, and they shall praise him, saying, blessed be the most high. He has exalted forever. You see that, man? All right. Hey, the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. You know, the kingdom of heaven, you know, it's going to be uh, beautiful, man. All right. B-U-T-4. All right. And, and this is a picture right here of Aaron, uh, Aaron's garment, man. All right. We know we all know Aaron was a, was a dark skinned man. All right. But this is what Esau puts out. All right. The, the, uh, the garment, man. All right. That's that's the that's the uh, those uh, precious stones, man. All right. And uh, <clears throat> right. oh yeah, let me get this. This is uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter twenty-two, and verse nine, uh, twenty-two and twenty-nine. It says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures or the power of the Most High. All right, hey, these people err, man. All right, not knowing Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. All right, listening to the to their Christian pastors. All right, you know all they do is go to church. All right, listen to their pastors online. Probably don't don't ever pick up the Bible and read it for themselves. All right, you know, going off face value. All right, these people out here are pathetic, man. All right. You know they follow the traditions, the uh, traditions of men. All right, the answers are right here in the scriptures, man. All right, but people will blabber out their mouth, man. All right, you know, vain, vain opinions, man. Vain words, man. All right, these people don't know. They don't know the heavenly Father, man. All right, you know, wisdom. Look, heavenly Father hasn't anointed these people with wisdom, man. All right, it's only for a select few. All right, if you're out here saying, you know, that uh, stones, these precious stones, the amethyst, the pyrite, all right, the jasper, all right, the agate, you saying all these stones are wicked, man. All right, you, you do not know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, you know, oh, I had one in Kings as well. All right, um, 1 Kings chapter 10. In verse 1, it says, And when the queen of Sheba heard the fame of Solomon concerning the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, she came to prove him with hard questions. All right, and she came to Jerusalem with a very great train, with camels that bear spices and very much gold and precious stones. And when she and she was to and when she was come to Solomon, she communed him with all that was in his that was in her heart all right see you see that man so she was coming with gifts to solomon and bringing him what all right camels that had that had spices man so he, she was bringing on spices and very much gold and precious stone man all right you know all right so hey that's the point on that man all right lord willing this video is edifying man all right you know you have to uh hey blesses he that readeth man all right you know, Revelations 1 and, 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and that word read goes into understand. All right? You, you're a blessed. You are a blessed brother or sister if you understand the, understand the Holy Scriptures, man, in its entirety, man. All right? So I'm going to close out, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Those are the leaders of Israel today, whether you people can see it or not. All right, and uh, and shalom on to the uh, to the elect, man. The, the uh, you sincere brothers that's laboring in this truth. All right, to the next lesson, I say shalom, my Baba Ball, shalom.